Oh, are we here? We are here. Oh my God, Stephen Ridley Candy. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, fam. First of all, shout out. I'm, I'm gonna see who sent me that or who tweeted that. Well, it was a bunch of y'all that tweeted. It. Anyways, it's okay. Uh, Twitter, Twitter, the internet has done its thing. Oh, it has done its thing, and it is gave. It's given me a new perspective on an individual that I always kind of felt was there, but I, I stopped just short of, you know, saying it and voicing it that way because it's a very ugly description, right? It's a very vile description. And you should be very careful about who you use it against because people like to use it very frivolously to talk about people that they don't like and agree with. And I don't agree with that kind of stuff because once again, it is a very dangerous and nasty an ugly distinction. But boy, when you're cooning, you coon hard. And you leave a trail. There's like coon scat that leads all the way back to you. And boy, 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 have we found it. Have we found it? I mean, it literally it, it explains so much. I understand this man now. I get it. I see him. I see you, John Ridley. I see you now. So let's get to it. Let's talk about what I'm actually here to talk to you guys about now. Apparently, there was an op-ed that was wrote, written up from, what was it, Ferris University? Yeah. About an essay <laughs> that was written for the Museum of, hold on, hold on, hold on, pull it up. I don't want to get this wrong. Because it was outrageous. It was like a slavery museum or something like that. Jim Crow Museum. The Jim Crow Museum. Oh, my God. How fitting. So this man writes an essay for the Jim Crow Museum. And it's entitled, what, Josh? John Ridley's Niggers. Oh, my God. That can't be right. We're going to have to bleep that out because YouTube doesn't like this to cuss anymore. Tell us again. That can't be right. What did this black man write to the Jim Crow Museum? Of all places, John Ridley's. Holy Christ, man, that's a shocker. That's a doozy of a title. Sounds like it's really trying to draw you in and get you triggered. What's it about, Josh? It's about the difference between black people and. I'm sorry. Excuse me. The this couldn't have been the John Ridley that wrote 12 Years a Slave. Oh, yes. That same that example. same John Ridley? <gasps> I am appalled. <laughs> black people and and in words. Good blacks and Oh my Lanta In quotes. Oh. oh my God. Let's let's read through a few a few sentences. Let's let's see what John Ridley has to say about good blacks and for decades, upper class and middle class African Americans have been highlighting the pathologies of the black underclass as a way to both distance themselves from such behavior. This is the writer right now writing the op-ed about the essay. This and is to his blame words. poor blacks for their poverty. Mm -hmm. These successful Absolutely. African Americans accept the false dichotomy between good blacks and... Hold on real quick. All of you, uh, if you just don't run from the police, if you sit there and, and, and comply, that's you. Oh, we got too many welfare queens. All black men want to do live off the government and collect child support. That's you. Black people need to pull up their pants. And black fathers aren't in the home. And, and uh, the vote Republican, yee yee. That's you. That's, that's, that's you right here. He's describing you. For them is a class-based slur, mm -hmm. a way of saying you are not my brother, you are less than I am. Mm. You are contemptible, raggedy, and ghetto, uh -huh. a victim of your own immorality and yep. ineptitude, Fact. blaming whites for what ails you. Mm -hmm. I am not one of you. I am better than you. You don't educate your children or pay your bills. Mm -hmm. You don't have a job. You are ill-bred. You are a walking crime spree. You are a nightmare. You give decent black people a bad name. Look at me. I read, speak in a monotone, make a steady paycheck. Talk intelligently and act civilly. I have dreams. Bill Cosby was right about you. I'm tired of your poor, ignorant, thuggish ass. Ridley placed those ideas in a national magazine. <laughs> oh, my God. And then it goes on about Chris Rock and his joke that he made. Oh, that's an interesting tidbit. Let's talk about Chris, too. Why are we here? <laughs> Chris Rock made a, a very similar joke 
uh, in which he kind of highlighted. It's the difference between black people and niggas. Yeah. Even black people hate niggas. Yeah. Yep. It's funny, right? It's funny. It, it was. It was okay. Hey man, I'm about tired of you self hating black mofos. Cause if look, if that's the way you you feel about yourself, you should probably keep that to yourself. What I hate, what I hate, is these type of individuals getting in front of microphones, writing publications, creating content to say that you are espousing these ideas for the betterment of black people. No, you're not. You don't wish the betterment of black people. You hate that black people exist. You hate the fact that you are black. And so that is why you write the things you write. That is why you write even about black things where you somehow erase, erase black people. That's how you end up with that. This. And I'm not just going to stop at John Ridley either. Because how does this individual end up writing for Marvel or DC? Writing Batman of all characters. Writing T'Challa Black Panther of all characters. How does this man make it through the door? He did 12 Years a Slave, bro. Academy nominated, bro. Award winning, bro. Who cares about anti-black racism? Who gives a good goddamn? Not him. A tweet could lose me half a million dollars over anti-Semitism. This man has an op-ed called what i'm sorry i forgot the title again what is it called john ridley's god damn it now if there ever was a title that could be clearer about someone's attitude towards a race even if it is their own john ridley's is pretty damn close will moss it's pretty fucking close pretty on the goddamn nose i'm going to bleep out all of that you're going to have to, because Disney, I mean, not Disney, YouTube say, no, no, no more cussing. Yeah, no. no more cuss. Mm -hmm. We demonetize you. Yeah. It's just crazy that they allowed somebody like that to write for the pinnacle black what, superhero, what we, the first black superhero. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? This man wrote Batman and, and Black Panther. <laughs> oh, boy. Doesn't it just seem that if you hate black people, it's very lucrative in Hollywood? Yeah. Even if you're black. Especially if you're black, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's just like nobody went around and did like any kind of background check on him. They were just like, oh, he wrote that movie. Oh, oh but when you just look at, oh, if you look at his work, it makes so much sense. I've, I've seen few slave movies that are more brutal than 12 Years a Slave. Right? Even some of the, the, the black films that were all too happy to show the brutality of chattel slavery and working in the fields and the whips and all that. Even some of those movies kind of shied away from the rape aspect. Oh, no, not John Ridley. Uh-uh, we dipping head on. See, see, I write black women. Did you see 12 Years a Slave? And then you, then, then now we looking at Gorilla. And somehow there are Black Panthers in the UK and there are no black women. Imagine that. Doesn't it just put it all into a different context? And then we ask you about it. A black woman, by the way ask you about it and and what's your defense i i i have a native american wife and i, I i'm not going to answer to you nicks. i mean woman he didn't say nicks. that was that was my he thought it he thought it definitely thought it oh absolutely <laughs> it's all the stink is on you fam the stink is on you you don't give me that then follow it up with all the other things that i've seen you do and escape this label no 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 as conscious as i am of not calling people this just because i disagree with them is as conscious as i'm going to be when it's plain and simple walks like talks like smells like i hate that i'm black period point blank and it is an embarrassment that 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 marvel and will moss and the 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 head editor of marvel comics i can't recall the name at the very moment all allow for this man to write on this book that long there's an embarrassment as much as we talk about asian hate and anti-semitism 
and 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 misogyny just all of these designations of people who are to be protected and, 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 and to be you know held to a certain regard and believe me i have no problems with that i just be wondering every now and again can we look out can we look out like can we get anything Hell, you had a perfect opportunity to tell a black man no, Marvel. I know you love doing that shit. You've been doing it to Kevin Gervo for years. It's a beautiful opportunity to say, uh uh, black man, you can't write for us. Him. Do it to him. The one we don't want. No, he gets 15 legacy issues of Black Panther mm. as his reward for John Ridley's. How they went from Ta Nehisi Coast to him is crazy. Uh, fam. It's like we on two opposite ends of the spectrum. Some people feel like ta Coates is, is too left-leaning. This man, I can't even, I don't, is this conservatism? What is this? That's pretty black conservative. This is, this is rucket, ruck, rucketism, rucket, ruckavism. Ridley's essay validates the claim that I've made before in many audiences, namely the problem with the word is not simply that blacks routinely use it, but rather that many African-Americans believe that really exist the question how do we stop americans from treating us as is replaced by how do i keep from becoming a here i put words in a ridley's mouth the best thing black people can do for is not to become one this uh, is his summation of what what's ridley, presented in the essay not the not the jim crow slavery museum the jim crow of museum. so-called sound like portrayal that was offered by ridley in the first paragraph of his essay let me tell you something about Oh my God. The oppressed minority within our minority, always down, always out, always complaining that they can't catch a break, notoriously poor about doing for themselves, constantly in need of a leader, but unable to follow in any direction that's navigated by hard work, self-reliance. And though they spliff and drink and procreate their way onto welfare doles and wick lines, they will tell you their state of being is no fault of their own. They are not responsible for their nearly 5% incarceration rate and their 9.2% unemployment rate. Not responsible for the 11.8% rate at which they drop out of high school for the 69.3% of births they create out of wedlock. It is a struggle for me, but I try to be objective when I facilitate workshops. However, near the conclusion of the session, I felt compelled to preach. Who told you that some of us are... Ne Wait, am I... I think I'm... That's... I think it's like... He's he's he wrote that kind of weird. It's kind of like floating in between him yeah, talking and, yeah, and really. Yeah. yeah, yeah the, but but you you kind of you get the point because he's getting ready to go back and forth with them. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh my god, it's so socially acceptable to be racist against black people. It just it just is. It's it really is, and then they just. It, the fact that this man is so successful in, in his in his craft, I mean, not at making quality content, but just the opportunities that he has had. It, it, it sickens me to my core, because here's the thing. He ain't the only one. He is not an aberration. This man is not an anomaly. There's so many black elite. Educated bougie black folk that yeah. think exactly like this they just feel like they're paying their way out of their blackness oh i i'm black but i ain't got to be black like y'all you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm up here y'all down here white folks way up there but see there's a couple steps in between me and you so i ain't black black i guess i just my only question is where does that fall in the whole diaspora war thing considering t'challa in this case is is African. Fam, I think and he just African set up to tear down a black idol. I think T'Challa was a nigga to him. And he wanted to show them niggas who, what they nigga king is actually like. Mm. I mean, the latest issue of his comic, oh my God, dog. It, <laughs> he don't give a damn. I felt like he finally got wind of the criticism and was like, oh, for real? Hold my beer. Let me show you something. It got worse than... Yeah, so... T'Challa, he had, you know, he had already kicked him out as ruler of Wakanda, mm -hmm. but now he's persona non grata, Latin in Wakanda. <laughs> you know, very anti-colonial. Anyways, he's persona non grata. He's no longer a citizen of Wakanda. And you want to guess who the new protector of Wakanda is? Shuri? Namor. 
What? <laughs> Nemar. What? How? Nemar than Telecom. No, it's Atlantis. But yeah, no, uh, you know, Prime Minister Falasade, who seems to be calling a lot of shots lately, almost kind of like a king. This man is writing a king while he's talking about not wanting a king of a kind. Oh, my God. It, it just don't make sense anywhere, anywhere you look at it. But yeah, she um, she banned. She got uh, Namor to help them fight T'Challa's super agents. And the the price of that was to banish T'Challa. So Namor is the new protector of Wakanda now. Oh, and at the end of the issue, I think T'Challa ran through some fucking portal. Probably never to be seen again. I don't know. But he's got one more issue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably when he passes down the, the title to Tosin or Shuri or you know, somebody that's not T'Challa. Because T'Challa ran into some random ass portal and said goodbye to Steve. and Yo. Like, literally... His job was to assassinate this character. And I don't mean just by, like, giving us some bad stuff. I mean, he was hired to march this character to his death. That, that's literally all he has done. There is not one single redeeming thing about T'Challa in this entire run. 15 issues of diarrhea flow over the most popular black character in Marvel. That, that that's what we've been in for but then when you tell me that it comes from a black man that believes that black people are segmented into good black people and niggas then it makes, makes sense. sense it all it makes, makes sense. sense what doesn't make sense to me is how i continuously see us black folk lining up for other people's fights and protests and, and boycotts and we not gonna support this and we not gonna support that and we're intersectional but then i guess diversity and inclusion doesn't include anti-black racist or is it still inclusive because he's black where's our intersection out intersexuality where's our protection within the mold why we don't get people ready to line up and picket fence for oh it's the black thing well duh that's what's so disappointing is that this man got 15 issues on this comic and I didn't hear one rant, one raid. Well, let me take that back. There's been plenty of criticism. Y'all will dig to the depths to find dirt on people that y'all don't like, that y'all won't canceled. And you make them answer for it and apologize for it. How Marvel got away because there's zero shot. Zero. If you're going to work for Marvel, they're definitely going to pull everything that you have in publication that you have credit for, that you have a writer's credit on, and look through your work. No one thought that this was a little concerning. Nobody. No, no one. Not a single person. Give us your thoughts on uh, Stephen Candy, a.k.a. John Ridley. In the comments below, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Come back next week for more videos. Absolutely, and make sure you check out our previous video on this John Ridley run. And make sure you subscribe anytime we get any information like this. We'll be sure to bring it up. I hope to never see this man's name on another comic book to the day I die. Well, he has mm -mm. one more. Nope. Stop the print. Got it.